Hi, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to modify one of the queries we've already made to turn it into a parameter query. A parameter query prompts the user for input data so that you can refine the query results dynamically. Let's see how it works. Click on the query sales summary by last name and let's go into design view. We are going to add in a few more fields here and then we're going to use some parameter prompts. So the field we want to add is the subdivision field. We want to be able to see the summary by subdivision. So I'm just right clicking here to show table um, and then selecting the table subdivision. And I'm going to just double click to add in that subdivision field. So what I want to know is I want to be able to filter here um, between two dates. Sorry. I want to be able to filter here between two prices and a subdivision. So the way that we do that, the way that we create parameters, is again using square brackets, as I showed in the other video. If you type a field name wrong in a calculated field, it will often pop up as a parameter. So in this case, we're going to use the operators between and. And what we need to do is we need to prompt the user to input the lowest price and the highest price for the range of sale prices that they want to see in this query result. So let's just type in lowest price. This is what's going to be prompted to the user, what I'm typing in. And I'm going to go into the zoom here so you can see more clearly what I'm writing. And highest price. So now we're going to refine our query to show an inclusive list of between whatever we enter in the lowest price and whatever the user enters in the highest price. So click OK and let's run this. So let's say the lowest price um, is 400,000 and our highest price is 800,000. Now we get a list of all of the properties that meet those uh, parameter prompts and it's showing us a more, more uh, summarized view of that. So let's go back into datasheet view and we'll add one more parameter here. So you're going to be prompted three times when you run this query and that is for the subdivision. And so we'll say which subdivision. And we'll make that one into a question mark. So again, just zoom in so you can see that it's using square brackets and a question mark. So when I run this, I'll first enter in the lowest price. Let's do 250,000 this time. And our highest price, let's do 500,000 just to test the results. And then it's going to ask us which subdivision. Here, let's um, type in Eagle Valley, which is one of the subdivisions listed in our table subdivision. Your spelling must be correct here if you want to see specifically that result. Otherwise, you will get no results in your query. So here are all the properties that sold in Eagle Valley for, the, for that price range. There are other ways to add in um, more parameters here that allow you for a little bit more flexibility instead of having to type the name exactly. I'm going to show you that in another video. So parameter prompts are very useful and they can be used in any field. So we could do one here in the date sold to find a specific date uh, property was sold on or a listing agent. Um, so it really allows you to filter your data for a specific criteria.